Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. I am your host, Alon Paul, and it's this week's Weekend Anomaly Mission. This is Friday, May 31st, 2024. And as you might recall, it is just after the release of the, um, the latest expedition in No Man's Sky. We are here in the Anomaly right now, and we're going to be going ahead and doing the Anomaly Mission as we speak. So let's see what it entails today, shall we? Looks like we're going to rescue a stranded life form this time. And it looks like my reward is going to be some batteries and, of course, the 1800 Quicksilver. So I'm going to go ahead and get this mission started. And there we go. So let's go ahead and get moving here. And as you know, since the expedition has started, obviously we have a new craft that we're going to be taking out and about called the Iron Vulture. This is the new ship that you can get in the expedition, and I hope you all enjoy the expedition. It is kind of a lengthy one. It is, to me, quite a bit of fun, so I hope you enjoy it. So let's take this ship out for a spin. Watch the fans on either side. They did a lot of work on those fans. Apparently, they articulate to the direction that you're actually traveling in. So they did a little bit of work, a little bit of a fluctuation in hyperspace, but that's okay. As you can see, the fans will do what they need to do. So let's see where we're headed, which planet. Last known coordinates should take us there. There we go. Looks like that's where we're headed. So as you turn to the left and the right, you'll see the fans articulate independently of each other. Very, very cool. One of the other things that this ship comes with, as we'll see while we're in the pulse drive, is it comes with everything you see here. All these options, including a phase beam, which, you know, none of us like anyway. But it comes with everything here, including the sputtering starship trail and an atlas figurine. And it's S-Class to boot. That is a big boost to everything. And if you're wondering what it looks like... <laughs> that won't work. <laughs> I have to do it outside of multi uh, multiplayer. Because as you go, if you're in multiplayer, you can't really take pictures with it. So we'll take a look at it on the ground. Let's go ahead and head over to this stranded pilot and see what we can get done. How far out is this pilot? Okay, yeah, we're not going to wait that long. Let's go up, back up out of the atmosphere. I apparently entered the atmosphere a little bit too soon. Taking pictures in uh, multiplayer don't work very well. All right. Now, a stranded life form is going to have a ship nearby. So what you want to look for is look for a ship on your radar, which is a little yellow dot down below. Looks like he's going to be up higher. Higher or lower? Looks like I'm still too far out. Let's keep going. Okay. Well, looks like I've passed over it. And it might be low. Really low to the ground. Once again, we're in one of these uh, spheres that are really, really tall mountains. Terrible coloring. But I think we found our fellow. As I run into everything and damage my new ship. There we go. We'll bring it in. Boy, that's a dusty, ugly planet, isn't it? Let's try this one more time. We'll take a look at the ship from a different point of view. This is what it looks like. So this is the new ship, the new star cased, uh, showcase, showcased sh ship in No Man's Sky. S-Class and just a beauty. What a beauty this one is, isn't it? All right, let's go talk to our life form here and get this mission completed. 
Just making sure I have some available space. And we got a traveler we're talking to. A traveler flinches. They stare at me oddly as though they can't see they can see right through me. In despair, Traveler Diao shows me their ship's shattered communicator control unit. This part is far beyond repair, but it could potentially be replaced. So we have to look for what we're looking for now. First thing it's gonna do is it's gonna look for these things here. But we gotta let what wait for the mission to catch up. Now if we look through our scanner, it's gonna tell us that we're looking for buried technology. So rather than do it the old-fashioned way like I normally do, I'm gonna actually dig down to it. There we go. Rare item. Now, what you need to do is go to this rare item that you just received, right here. And it will tell you whether it's a good item and whether you can go ahead and decrypt it. Excellent. Sometimes you have to look at more than one item before you find the one you're looking for. Okay, let's go ahead and leave. Looks like we got a good one for us. So we're gonna jump in our ship and head for that location over there. Now the location, it seems, I'm not sure if it's on our planet or not. There was a person over that way, so possible this location on the planet or it's on a different planet. Uh-oh. Are we actually getting attacked? Nope, guess not. Okay. I'm not sure what that was that what that was, but it does say here at the bottom right that corrupted sentinels may try to reclaim the salvaged part. Now whether that's on the planet we were just on, where it looked like we were being attacked, or this planet, I couldn't say. I guess we're gonna find out. So nothing's really attacking us, but that was a very strange occurrence that we just saw. Odder things have happened. So as we approach this planet, it is uh, STVA-6. Steva? I don't know. There's a lack of vowels. <laughs> looks like someone just left the area. And it looks like we might have somebody else there right now. In a hole. <laughs> no, nope, can't do it. Okay, so corrupted drones that were here were defeated, it seems. So I should be able to access this. Terminal status active. Please present compatible device. We're going to submit it. Communication control unit detected, pairing, key downloaded, syncing, device decrypted. So we have the correct device now, so we can leave. Now, if you all are familiar with my channel, please check out my latest live broadcast if you like to see a little bit of a sentinel battle go on at the end of the expedition. Something I didn't expect to do, but happened anyway. Now, I hope I don't run out of any pulse drive uh, fuel, because this uh, ship that we're on is incredibly void of any items that I need, as you might imagine. I do have some tritium on board my ship and a little bit of pyrite, so I might just take that and do that. We should be all set. What a cool looking ship though, isn't it? I am definitely going to see about getting myself a second one if I can. You can get them through the anomaly terminal. We'll show you how to do that here in just a little bit. See, I've got one through the Quicksilver store, and you can get a second one by doing the mission yourself as a reward in your regular save. And we'll show you how to get started on that. So 
like we're here. And this ship does seem to have the same hover ability that the other ships have. Okay. Let's go talk to our traveler. Who has changed into a Viking. That is the weirdest thing I think I've ever seen. Did I choose the wrong... Nope, I don't think so. The Viking growl softly drawing themselves up. The circumstances of their recent crash have made them distrustful. But alone out here, their choices are limited. That is the weirdest thing that I've seen ever happen. So the Traveler is gone. And has been replaced by a Viking. But apparently... He was the one. Because as you can see... There's the hole I dug. Unbelievable. That was the weirdest thing I think I've ever had happen. But, regardless of which, it's done. So all we need to do now is escape this planet, head back to the anomaly, and claim our reward. Let's go ahead and do that. And we're on our way. Excellent. So not so difficult of a mission. If you have to fight a little bit of Corrupted Sentinels, if you do it in multiplayer, a lot of times people will have already defeated the Corrupted Sentinels before you got there. And there we go. And I feel like I'm missing something, don't you? There we go. Much better. There we go. Complete the mission and we get our prize. So, to check things out in the Quicksilver store as we normally do. You'll notice that we have three tiers of decorations that are available. Now, they thought that these were paused, but apparently they're not. This was at 75% earlier today. It is now at 77. It's just going to take a while to get through all three. Probably going to take the entire two months to get through them all. But we'll see what happens. Okay, so that is complete, folks. And as an added thing, we're going to show you over here to this terminal. The Expedition Terminus allows us to select equipment and start a new expedition from your regular save. And you can put things in here. Now, I'm going to choose not to when I do my expedition for my regular save. So, I'm not going to put any technology in. I'm not going to put any of the cargo in that might be required. I am just going to go ahead and do the expedition from the get-go. So, I'll get that taken care of, and we're going to be doing it as a step-by-step -step view on how to do this expedition. But I thank you for watching our anomaly video today. Before I go, I'm going to jump in and jump back out of my iron vulture and save my game I want to thank you again for watching please hit the like and subscribe if you've been subscribed in the past some people are finding themselves unsubscribed suddenly for no reason please feel free to resubscribe if you like what you've been seeing and if you're a new viewer please subscribe really enjoy the content hit the join button but you don't have to I want to thank you all for watching and we'll see you again in the next video take care everybody